Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop or Jim's Handyman Tire Repair because today I'm going to plug a hole that I have in my tire. Uh, or you can take it to the tire shop if you want to pay them 20 bucks and sit there for three hours. Um, I made arrangements to drop my truck off Monday after work. I was going to drop it off Tuesday morning at 5 o'clock on my way to work and they were going to have it done by noon. Well, here's the tire and it's still got a screw in it. So, it tells you about their service. Now, if I wanted to buy tires, I bet that'd be done by noon. So, what we're going to do, we're going to tip you down here. And first thing we want to do is we want to take the valve stem out and get rid of the pressure on the inside of the tire. Now you can do this with the tire on the car, but it's kind of cold and crappy outside. I'm in Michigan and I thought I'd come in here where it's warm. Now I got this handy dandy little screwdriver. It's got a hole in it and it's got a slot in it and that is to hook on to the valve core and unscrew it. You can buy these just about anywhere. I want to let some of the pressure, if not all of it, out of the tire. Otherwise, it's going to blow all the glue back out on me instead of staying in the hole. Now this, I did pick up a screw. And I don't know if you can get a good look at it. It's right here, Oops. and it's sticking out about an eighth of an inch off the tire surface. Now, I know everybody out there is just thinking, you know, if you just tighten that stupid screw up, it ain't going to leak no more. Well, I'm going to try and pull it out and see what happens. I get let the air out of this thing, and we'll go get a pair of pliers. And uh, the kit that I bought, I bought for my 98 Ford Ranger. This is what the kit looks like. I still have four plugs left out of five. And you get the two tools to do it with. But these plugs are extremely sticky. And uh, we'll put the valve stem back in, all the air is out. And you have a hard time pushing that plug into the tire. So you want to lubricate it a little bit. Well, what do you want to lubricate it with? You don't want to break the glue down. We're going to lubricate it with some more glue. And this came in a tire patch kit for a... I think you're supposed to put these on the inside of the tire. Or it's for inner tubes. So we're going to give this a shot and see what happens. Let me run over and get a pair of pliers. Because I forgot to grab one. Okay, we're back in here. We're going to tip this thing down. So maybe you can see what I'm doing. I don't know. I grabbed a couple pair of pliers because I don't know what I'm going to need. I'm getting dro drove nuts with these phone calls for Medicare. Well, that ain't much of a screw. It looks like it was a small sheet metal screw. That's not even a half inch long. Okay, now we're going to clean off some of the dirt with this wire brush. And we're going to take these parts out of here. They give you a tool to shove the plug in with. And you can see that it's split right here. And that's so when you stick your plug through here and you shove it in a tire, when you go to pull this out, it won't pull the plug back out because that plug is going to slide through that slot. And this little gem is a reamer to make the hole bigger. 
Yes, believe it or not, you got to make the hole bigger before you can plug it, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But hey, what do I know? I'm not a tire person. If we're going to stick this in here, Now you can do this on the car, but I wanted to bring it here so you could kind of see what's going on. Now we'll get out one of these little sticky things. Um, I don't really know if we're going to need the whole thing, and I mean these are sticky. Look at this. Trying to pull this thing off is unreal. Good night. Now you got to pull it off of there and then try to let go of it. Oh, well, now we got to get this through this little hole in this tool. one of these pair of pliers if I can get it in there far enough to grab a hold of it. I had to buy this kit to fix the tire on my 98 Ford Ranger that has less than 80,000 miles on it but the tires were original and as soon as they seen how old them tires were, they just kind of showed me the door. He said, any tire that's over 10 years old, they can't touch. Too much liability, I guess. Okay. We got that bad boy in there. That's what it's supposed to look like. Now we're going to slop this up good with some glue to make it more slippery. We'll put some right in the hole. We'll put some on here. Most tire stores are going to charge you 20 bucks to do this. And you're going to sit there for a while waiting for them to get done. Now let's see if we can get this stuffed into this hole. I don't want to go too far and push it all the way through. There we go, it's starting to go in. And we jerk that back out. Now we're going to let this set for about 10 minutes. Then we're going to pump it up with air. <laughs> And see if we can get that sucker to stick to the ceiling. <laughs> or maybe it'll do its job and it'll be stuck there. So we'll be right back. Well, it's been about five, seven minutes. I don't know. Who keeps track? Let's air this thing up and see what happens. I do have a rag. Let's be on the safe side, just in case we blow that thing out of there. My compressor will kick on, probably.
Let's see what we got. Not much. Big tear, I guess. I used one of these plugs on my Ranger and that was been about five, six years and I've never had it leak since then. Yep, compressor kicked on. So we gotta have something in here. Oh yeah, we got about 32, 34 pounds. I usually pump them up to about oh, 36, 7, somewhere in there. Try to keep it under 40. Well, there's about 36 or 7, I don't know. It's up there. Let's spray some of this stuff on here. see no bubbles I think we got a good one now what you want to do is get yourself a sharp knife and cut this excess off so it's not thumping as you go down the road this stuff is but it's pretty darn tough this is a sharp exacto knife blade Ugh, sure is sticky I think we did it that's all there is to it and like I said you can do this on the car but I would jack up the weight of the car off the tire and let the air out just so you don't have as much trouble well so the glue isn't blowing out before you get the plug in as you notice with no air in here and after I reamed the hole the glue was actually running down in the hole which probably helped that plug go in that's it fixed it like I said I probably paid five to seven bucks for this kit and I don't know what this was three four dollars and I fixed two tires with it that's 40 bucks at the uh, tire store so it just depends if you want to try it or not you can't hurt it it's already leaking <laughs> So until next time, work safe, have fun, and go fix a tire. Hi guys, I'm Jim, and I just thought I'd pop in at the end of this video to let you know that Photocell works great. No more messing with the timer for the time change. We still do that up here. Or when the days start getting shorter or longer, I always had to keep changing that timer what a joy I should have done this years ago and I've already wired it into the system that's in the walls the outlets so that cord it's not a temporary situation anymore it really works nice so until next time work safe have fun and I'll talk to you soon so long